Okay, Sammy? Still not here. There's a button that says join Hangout on this side of the screen, maybe? Okay, um, hello, Luis. Hey, hello. I'm great. How, How about you? Fine. I'm really good. I'm pretty good. Okay. And where are you from, Luis? I'm from El Salvador, Central America. Okay, well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. And hello, um, Moody? Uh, it's Mizu, actually. Uh, what's your name? Mizu, Mizu. Mizu? Yeah. Okay. Where are you from, Mizu? Uh, I'm from Sudan. Sudan? Yeah. Okay, well, good to meet you, Mizu. Good yeah, to meet you, too. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, um, I'm Sammy out there. I don't know if an iPad can get you in this class. I'm, I'm not sure. Sorry. All right. And I'm not sure, Sammy. I, I never used the iPad before, so I don't know. <laughs> OK, um, Ralphus. Hello, Ralphus. Can you hear me? Okay. Hello, Santiago. Uh, hi. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm pretty good, thanks. Okay. Um, where are you from, Santiago? I'm from Ecuador. Ecuador. Okay. Yeah. Today, uh, this is all new people in my class, so it's good to see all these new people. Uh, okay. So, all right. Let me get everything ready. Hello, Kristen. Hi. Hi, uh, Kristen. What is this word here? It's a long word. Uh, Kristen, can you see on my screen the word? Yes, yes what, word sure. what word is that? Excuse me. Uh, super. Uh, excuse yeah. me, teacher. I can see your. Oh, uh, oh. Your, your image. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Yeah. Um, no, 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 yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay, teacher, uh, Kristen. Click, click on my face down here. Yes. So if you click on me, it'll stay there. Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay. What is this word? Superstitions. Superstitions. Perfect, yes. Everybody, repeat after me. Superstitions. 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 Yes, and um, Santiago. Yeah. What is a superstition, Santiago? Uh, well, a superstition is, um, it's like uh, mm, something that something that you you believe on. A, uh, for example, if you if a cat go in front of you, walking and. And um, you believe that that brings you bad luck. Um, yeah, per perfect, yeah. yes. And you uh, believe in that? You believe in that? No, I don't believe in that. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so it's like some strange thing you believe in, and a lot of them are for good luck and bad luck, right? Yeah. They're oftentimes for good luck and bad luck. So, I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So, Fendi. Uh, Fendi, I can't hear you. I, I think you're muted. Ah. Okay. 
So, Fendi, what does this say? Uh, I can't hear you again. I can't hear you again, Fendi. Oh, now, now, okay. Fendi? Me? Hello. Hello. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. That's good. Okay, okay, thank you. So, so what does this say? Oh, you break a mirror, that's seven years bad luck. Yeah, so breaking a mirror is another superstition, right? Really? Yes. Yes. Do you have that superstition in Taiwan, Fendi? I had so many stupid stations in Taiwan. Oh, uh, many, many ones? Okay. Yeah, many, many ones. Like, um, and uh, it is, uh, for example, in Chinese, and when we are go to worship, go to worship, yes. go to temple. Hello, you can hear me? Yeah, yes, I can hear you. Yeah. When you go to temple, you can't take a mask. You can't? It is, uh, no. Okay. Don't take a mask because the God didn't recognize you. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so, Luis. Yes, tell me. Um, wait one second. Uh, what is this, Luis? It's a black cat. Yes, and is there a superstition about a black cat? Um, I think so. It's like, it's like if you see a black cat, you have, you have the good look, but I'm not sure about it. <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, uh, Santiago you... said it earlier, like, maybe you have bad luck. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, sorry, um, Moody, what's your name again? Uh, Muzo. Muzo? Muzo? Okay. Yeah, Muzo. Muzo, what is this man doing? Uh, he's walking and there's a... Oh, that's, oh, that's a ladder. Uh, okay, he's, he's done. So he's walking under a ladder. And this is another thing where you might get bad luck. This is another superstition, walking under a ladder. Okay. Next. And... Santiago. Uh, yeah. Um, what is this? That is crossing your fingers. You call it like that? Yes. Uh, yes, crossing your fingers. That's how you say it. Perfect. Yeah. Um, crossing finger. Crossing your fingers. You do that uh, when you want that something good happen to you. Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, like if you have, uh, uh, yeah, that. If you if you gave a bad exam and you're expecting to to you're expecting to get a good grade, you cross in your thing you cross your fingers and wait that it is a good grade. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So so crossing your fingers is good luck, and this is bad luck, and all the rest are bad luck here. Yes. And here's another one. Um, opening an umbrella inside is bad luck too. That's another superstition. And here is just all the bad things together. That is a very unlucky girl if you're superstitious. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Wait a second. All right. All right, let me open another file. One second. Uh. 
Oh, wait, wait a second. I can't find something I need. I'll get it soon, though. Okay, so next let's read this paragraph about superstitions. All right. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Oops. All right. Can I? <clears throat> okay. Also, hello, Salfon. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Okay, me too. All right, so let's look at this. So, Kristen. Yes, Tisha. Can you start reading, please? Of course. Superstitions affect several important aspects of my life. First of all, I have a lot of superstitions about taking tests. For example, I always wear the pearl necklace. Necklace? Necklace. Necklace that my grandmother gave me when I have to take a test. I think it brings me good look, and I am afraid that I will do poorly if I forget to wear it. Okay, thank you. Fendi, can you start yes. eating out? Okay. When I get to school, I always find a seat right in the middle of the room, sit down, and then switch my watch to my right wheels before the test begins. In addition, I am very superstitious about traveling. I will never start a trip on a Friday because I am sure it will bring me a bad luck. Thank when you. I have to stay in a hotel, okay? <laughs> Thank you. And now, Luis, can you read it when I have to? Sure. I refuse. I refuse to sleep in a room on the 13th floor. For me, 13 is a unlucky number. In addition, I always wear something green my lucky color on the first day of a trip finally thank five. you okay all right i'll move it down and sorry what's your name one more time moody is your name Mueve? Uh, moody cool Musa, Musa. Musa? Yeah. Okay, Musa, okay. Can you start reading Musa? Finally. Uh, where I can't find the wall for you. Um, right yeah. here? Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Finally, like many other uh, other athletes, I'm especially super, super, super superstitious. Uh, when it comes to my favorite sport, tennis, when I when when I dress for a mu uh, for a match, I always wear the same white T-shirt with my initials. Tiles. Sorry? Initials. My initials on it. Thank you. And now, Stefan. I also use the same. Shoes in my sneakers that I have had since I first started playing tennis. As soon as I buy a new pair of sneakers, the first thing I do is replace the list with my lucky ones. Thank you. And Santiago, can you finish, please? Okay. Um, I am also superstitious about my breakfast on the day of a match. I always eat the same thing, eggs and a muffin. All in, all in all, all, I am superstitious about many aspects of my life. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh -huh.
And next, I'll make it a little smaller. Zoom out. So, in this paragraph, there are three parts. Um, Kristen. Yes. What is the first part of the paragraph called? Uh, the, the first part is the topic sentence. Topic sentence, yes. And Fendi. Yes. In the middle of the paragraph, there are many, many, many sentences. What yeah. is this called? It is supporting sentences. Supporting sentences. I'll type it better. Sentences. And... And Luis. Yes? Uh, what's the last sentence called? It's concluding sentences. Sentence. Sen yes, concluding sen sentence. Yes, yeah, sentence. Only one. Sentence. So, um, Muji? Yeah. What is the concluding sentence in this paragraph? You want me to read the, the sentence? Yes, the concluding one. Uh, all in all, I am so gracious about many aspects uh, of my life. Very good. And Saffron. Yes. What is the topic sentence in this paragraph? Super superstitions affect several important aspects of my life. Perfect. All right. So. Okay. And next, um, Santiago. Um, yeah. Can. Uh, let's see. Can you read one to four here? Just read okay. all of this as you draft. Okay. As you draft your paragraph, remember that you need to do several things. First, state your point clearly in a topic sentence. Two, no, second, uh, support your point with adequate information. Third, develop unity by making sure all your sentences relate to the topic. Fourth, create coherence by organizing your settings logically and including trans transitions. Yes, and so Santiago, what part of the paragraph is number two for? Number two, great. Um, the, uh, can you repeat the question? Um, so the, the paragraph has three parts. Topic sentence, supporting sentence, and concluding sentence. Uh, the four is the supporting sentence. Yes. Also, um, Santiago. Yeah. We have um, two different chat boxes here. You're on the one called chat. Can you click on the one called Colingo? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 I could. Three parts here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's a common mistake. It's no big deal. And so, uh, look back at this. So, yes, here it talks about a topic sentence. And I'll just um, read this. I will read it. When you write a paragraph in English, the first thing you need to do is state your main point in one clear sentence called the topic sentence. The rest of the paragraph should develop and support the point you made in the topic sentence. The topic sentence is usually the first sentence of a paragraph. It is the most important one in your paragraph because it controls all the other sentences. 
A topic sentence must do two things. State the topic and identify the focus. All right, so for this, we can look at this other page that I made. One second. See here. Yes. All right, let's look at this one. So look at the topic. The topic is something very, very big. And the focus is small and within that. So let's look at this. Um, uh, Kristen. Yes. Teacher. Can you read number one? OK. Religion is important in my life. Yes. So here, the topic is the bigger part. So the topic is, I'll make it a bit smaller, the words. So the topic is religion, and the focus might be in my life, right? Yes. Yes, because topic, religion is very big. It can be anything within religion. So you focus it on your life. Okay. So that's that sentence. And um, hello, um, Bu Bupesh, Bupesh, <laughs> Bupesh, Upadhe. Okay, I hope you can hear me. Say anything if you hear me. Okay. So, Fendi. Yes. Can you read number two? Okay. Snacks come from many parts of the world. What do you think the topic is here? The topic is here is snacks. And the focus? Parts of the world. Perfect. And Luis, can you read the third one? Sure. Music is important to many cultures. And what is the topic? This music. And the focus? Focus is cultures. Yes. The focus is specifically music in the cultures, right? Yeah. And um, um, Mushi? Yeah. Can you read the fourth one? Uh, European history has many wars. And what is the topic? Yeah, uh, European history. And the focus? Uh, the wars. Yes, very good. And so, yes, for example, we can delete these two. And we might say European history. And let me make it bigger. And wars or snakes and parts of the world. All right, very good, everyone. Um, hello, uh, Bupesh. Uh, we ha Bupesh, we have teacher. teacher uh, Bupesh sent me the the their microphone microphone doesn't work. Oh yes, I, I just saw that right now. Um, but Bupesh, we have two chat boxes here. One is called chat. That's the one you're in. Can you go to the Colingo box on this side of the screen? Yes, I think he's there now. Okay. Well, Judah can see it. What about Bupesh? <laughs> All right. So next, let's go back to this one. So I guess now, Luis. Yes, tell me. 
Can you read one the first topic sentence? Uh, this one right here. Okay. Nuclear power is our greatest hope for solving the energy crisis. Yes. And what do you think the topic is? Is is nuclear power. And the focus is energy crisis. Yes, perfect. And uh, Muji, yeah. can you read the next sentence? Sure. Nuclear power is a hack uh, free to life on the planet. What is the topic? Nuclear power. And the focus? Uh, uh, life on the planet. Yes, I can see that life on the planet. Yeah. Okay. So this is next. Uh, somebody said something. Okay, uh, Cyphron. Yes. Can you read number one, please? Mahatma. Can you say that? Mahatma. Mahatma. Mahatma Gandhi. Was an influential reader. Uh, what is the topic? That guy name, the Mahatma Gandhi. Yes. And the focus. Leader. Oh, influential leader. Sorry, I think it's better. Leader. But yes. Okay. That's good though. It's close. And Santiago. Okay. Uh, uh. Email. Okay, email is a great way to stay in touch with your family and friends. Uh, the topic is email, and and the focus is family and friends. Oh no, to keep in touch with your family and friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. I think it's a long focus. Stay in touch with your family and friends. Yes. Okay. And um. Okay, uh, Abupesh, what is the topic of number three? Okay, I can't see it. So, um, so Kristen. Yes. What is the topic of number three? The topic, uh, the clubs. Yes, and the focus. Our personal. Yes. Uh, Fendi, number four, please. What's yeah. the topic? The topic is Japanese subway system, and the focus is very efficient. Exactly. And Luis, number five. Okay. Television commercials are often insulting to women. What is the topic? It's television commercials. And the focus? Woman. Insulting wo to women. Yeah, insulting to women, I think, is the focus. All right, very good. Everyone did this. So let's go to the next part. So I will read this. A good topic sentence should not be too general or too specific. So, um, for example, like if you look at the sentences earlier, okay, so if you only say the topic, like bears, it is too general. So helping saying the focus makes it more specific, but not too much. Uh, okay, so let's see, look at this. Um, uh, Fendi. Yes? Can you read this sentence? Exercising, sir? Yeah, yes, that one. Exercising is fun. 
This is statement is too general to be developed adequately into one paragraph. There is too much to say about the topic. Y yes, exactly. So it's it's not a good sentence, is it? Yes. Oh, um, Bupesh, do you see my my face down here? You can um you can click on my face, and then it will only look at me. So I can display the document. Oh, that's that's the wrong document though. From another class here. So, Bupesh, can you see it now? Okay. And, um, Christian? Yes, digital. Okay. Um, also, Bupesh, if you have problems, just type them to me, and I'll try to make sure you can see everything. So, uh, Christian, can you read this sentence, please? Okay, I swim laps for 30 minutes early morning. Is that a good topic sentence? Um, I swim laps. Is the is the? Oh, the I'm, sorry, I'm asking you a question. Um, is this a good starting sentence? Ah, okay. Um, I swim laps for 30 minutes. Um, maybe teacher. I think yes. Well, um, the problem is like one one second. Um, I'll show you the problem. So, see, so we have the three parts. You might say, I swim for thirty minutes every morning, and it's hard to say something. Oh, sorry. See here, we have the three parts. Topic sentence, supporting sentence, and conclusion. You say, I swim for 30 minutes every morning, and it's difficult to write something after that. Um, Kristen. Yes. Do you know the word specific? Mm. I, I think. Every morning? Mm. I think uh, this sentence is good for 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 start a a paragraph. Uh, well, um, I think a better one might be I swim morning and supporting maybe you can say I swim for 30 minutes. I think that's. I think it's too specific, actually. Sorry, Kristen. Okay, teacher. Yes. All right. Okay. Um. Bye, Luis. Luis just left. Okay. I'll open this one. There. So yes, it says. The statement is too specific to be developed into a paragraph. There isn't enough to say about the topic. Okay? Yes. All right. So One, one second, let me open a different exercise now. All right. So here's another one. See, topic sentence supporting.
So now we have some topic sentences, and can you choose which sentences are good to support it? So I will do number one, okay? So colors are often divided into two groups, warm and cold. A, the warm colors are red, pink, yellow, and orange. B, these colors are associated with activity and energy. C, violet is the color of royalty and is often worn by political and religious leaders. D, the cold colors, blue, purple, violet, and brown, are calm and mysterious. So, I think sentences A and D are the best. Effendi. Yes? Do you agree that A and D support the topic sentence best? Yes, I am agree. Yes, because look, it says... See the warm, the word warm is here? Yes, yes. The cold is there and there. Yeah, I can see, yeah. Okay. So, Kristen. Yes. Um, what do you think are the best answers for number two? Okay. Socks and stockings give us... Excuse me. Give us class to a person in your personality. Socks and... Socks and... Um, I think the the V is the the, the V answer is the the best answer. B. Yes. Red socks show that the wearer has lots of energy that he or she needs to let go of. Right, that's a good one. But yeah. can you read number C and sorry, can you read C and D, please? Okay, wearers of white socks and stocking are often hiding their true feelings. Do you think that one's good? Mm. So, um, sorry, Kristen. There's not only one right answer. Sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes three. Okay. Okay. So. I think there's two more good, I think there's three good ones in this one. The, really, uh, really the, the, the three last, last ones answers are good. Yes, yeah, perfect. The three last ones are great. Okay, and Muji? Yeah. All right. Oh. Can you read? Uh, so number three is the Lucia color test is made up of eight colors that have been carefully chosen for their meanings. That's the topic? So, um, which ones do you think are good supporting sentences? Uh, B. B. C. C. Uh, and, and D. Yes, I think you're right, yeah. Because the topic is Lucial Color Test, and... The focus is carefully chosen, eight colors that have been carefully chosen for their meaning. And a Cyphron. Yes. Can you read four, please? Okay. Colors are symbolic and have many different meanings to people around the world. In America, 
red, white, and blue, the colors of the flag symbolize patriotism. Green is a sign of birth and new life to the Irish. Blue looks, blue looks good on people with blue eyes. Some colors, such as pink and blue, represent female and male. So, uh, Saifan, which, le which letters are good to support the topic sentence? Mm. I think it's so. A. Yes. And B. And D. A, B, and D. Perfect. That's very good. Uh, and Cypron. Yeah. Why is C not a good one? Mm, well, I think it, people can blue. I uh, can wear blue anyway. Not. Six with eye colors. Uh, well, well, but also it doesn't. It's not about the different meanings. It's just what looks good, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can put this into a paragraph too. So if I wrote this in a paragraph, I would say colors are. I'm writing it in the chat box right now and have many different meanings to people in the world. In America, red, white, and blue, the colors of the flag symbolize patriotism. Green is a sign of birth and new life to the Irish. And some colors, such as pink and blue, represent female and male. So look in the chat box. I just made it all into a paragraph. Any of these you can make into a paragraph like that. Okay. And so this next part you can see you can see the supporting details and then you come up with the topic sentence, okay? So First, I will read this. If your favorite color is white, you are probably very moral and sometimes have old-fashioned ideas about romance. People who like red, on the other hand, want excitement, variety, and change, and are often more interested in passion than true love. Pink lovers are warm and understanding people who believe in loyalty and make good mates. Those who like the color blue are emotional and romantic and need lots of attention from their partners. So Santiago. Yeah. What do you think is a good topic sentence for that? Um, I was thinking in um, colors represent your personalities. Could we? Your personalities? Yeah. But that, that's a good one, but you can make it just a little bit better. So this is talking about love and relationships, right? Yeah, and uh, so, so colors. So colors what? Uh, colors represent the way your relationship and and personalities are? Yeah, yes. Colors represent how your relationship and personalities are, yes. Is it possible for color of life? Uh, what? Possible for color of life? Color of life? Yes. 
I don't understand what's the color of life. I'm sorry. Mm. What? Okay. So next, um, Kristen. Can you hear me, Kristen? Yes, you sure. Oh, okay, good. Now, now I can hear you. So I will I will read the the sentences and can you come up with the topic for number two? So violet okay. is a violet is a color that affects bones of the body and can be used to heal the pain of arthritis. Gold helps awaken a body's own healing energy. Blue clears the mind and aqua is cooling and can ease fever. What do you think is the topic of that? Uh, okay. Mm. The, 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 main, the main idea is how the colors affect the, the health in the people, but... Yes. How the colors affect people's health. You're right, but can you just put that into a sentence? Excuse me, teacher, could you repeat, please? Yeah, yeah, yes, you're right, but that's not really a sentence. Can you just change that to a sentence? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how, teacher. Okay, um, one second. See, I still have the word in the chat box, and I'll open this. So see, the topic was here, a good way to think of it. So you can say, I'll make it a little bigger. So colors what? So colors is the topic, and um, what was the focus? Okay. Uh, yes, the colors is the, f the, the topic, and the, the focus is um, the, the heart. Yes. The heart? Yeah, yes, you're people. right. Uh, yes. Yeah, earlier you said people's health. People's health, yes. Yes. So what goes here, and then you can have a sentence. Um, uh, colors effect? Yes, perfect. Yes. Colors affect people's health. Yes. That's the perfect one for this, for those sentences. Very good. Okay. So. So, uh, Fendi. Yes. I will read number three. Okay. And can you tell me a topic sentence later? Okay. So, to make a color wheel, draw a circle and divide it into 12 equal parts. Then color in each section, starting with red. Notice how you feel as you color each section. You may feel more drawn to some colors than others. Some colors may make you feel better than others. Think about which colors are good for your health. This one's a bit more difficult. <laughs> okay, uh, the topic sentence in these paragraphs, I think it is uh, how it's color, how to make a color wheels and uh, can affect uh, an, uh, our feeling. The wheel and it affects our feelings. Yes, that's yes, good. Color is affect our feeling. Yes, exactly. Colors affect our feelings. Okay, um, hello, I'm at, out there. I didn't see you till now. And uh, Bupesh, you're right. Um, colors role in health, that's almost like a topic sentence, but you can change it to a sentence like, 
colors play a role in our health. That way, it's a real sentence, you know? Okay. All right, and next, um, I'll pull up another document with a similar activity. Okay, so Cyphron. Yes. Now yes. I will I will read number two on this page, and can you tell me the topic sentence, please? Okay. Okay. Most often, people keep pets for companionship. In fact, many people consider their pet to be a part of the family. They may also serve as emotional outlets for the elderly or the childless. In addition to their value as loving companions, pets serve practical purposes, such as protecting homes, destroying insects, and even providing transportation. Recently, the benefit of using pets in therapy has been demonstrated. Finally, some people keep pets for their beauty, in the case of birds, for their songs. Uh, Cyphron, what do you think is the topic sentence of that? Mm, actually, it's pet is too broad. Here's an Mm, okay, yep. that. Pets yep. and human. Topics and ten. Yeah, so, um, pets are good friends. Well, that's close. Pets are good friends. That's almost there. But look, back here. So here it says. Friend, yes. But, um,. See this this paragraph? It says they also see also mm -hmm. practical purposes, protecting homes, destroying insects, providing transportation. So Cyphron, yeah, it's not only friends. It's friend, yes. Mm -hmm. So it's friends and more. So you can say pets. What? Okay, so one second. I'll open the, this again. Uh, our friends and you. So, Saffron, let's think back to earlier. What is mm -hmm. the topic? Pass our friend and. Um, because they have a lot of things, let's kill and. Okay, so what what you're trying to say is pets are friends, protectors, insect killers, and more, right? Yes. But it's so, so maybe you should say pets can do what? Pets can do many different things for people, right? Mm. See, not only friends, so it's many things, mm. right? Many things, yes. Yes. And so, um, Cyphron, the yes. topic here is pets. And what do you think the focus is? Mm, pet. Pets are important in my life. Perfect, yes. That's a good one, too. Pets are important in my life. 
But this... That's, 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 too... that's, that's almost right, but Cyphron. In the story, pets were important in many people's lives. In the world, yes, in the world. Yes, pets are important in the world, yes. Yes, so pets is the topic, and the focus are yes. important in the world. In the world, yes. Okay, very good, everyone. And so... We can finish today with a hangman game. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, that's a good one too, Bupesh. Uh. Okay. Um... Bupesh, can you guess a letter and just type it, I guess? Okay, um, uh, Christian, can you say a letter, please? Okay, the letter A. A. No A. No A. Okay. Sorry. And Fendi. Yes. Can you guess a letter, please? And uh, restaurant waiter restaurant guess. Um, what? Food. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you don't know any letters yet. Just. One letter, like A, B, C, D. Oh, one letter. Oh, it is... Mm, restaurant. It is the first letter. What is the first letter? Uh, you, you need to guess. Okay, <laughs> I'll give you the first letter today, because there's not much time. The first letter is T. Oh, a T. A tip? A I? I, yes. So, um... Uh, Siphon, can you guess the letter? E. Sorry, no E. And Santiago? Um, O? Yes, O. Oh. 